Hey y'all. <laughs> Guess who's live early? What's up? Happy Tuesday night. Welcome to Tuesday Night Light. I am your girl, Kim D. Dunn, Rhymes with Divine. I caught y'all off guard, didn't I? I came on 30 minutes early. Hey, Eb. I came on 30 minutes early. Because listen, in this season, you got to be ready to pivot. Okay? You never know what's going to happen. So you got to be ready to just, uh-oh, 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 we shifting and shaking. And just so you know, this is actually gray in my hair. I don't have lint in my hair. I just wanted to make that perfectly clear because I don't want to be out here looking dusty. This is actually gray and I'm loving it. And I'm thinking about streaking it gray right there because I don't know. I just want to look, I don't know, just do a little something extra razzle dazzle but listen so i came on early i'm gonna tell y'all why i'm gonna let y'all in my business i don't mind being transparent but first of all again my name is kim d dine rhymes with divine i am an author i am the ceo of pure chemistry where we are the missing element to your luxury aromatic experience y'all Y'all got look. I'm 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 thinking about doing the great. It got to be the right person that do it for me. But I want to do it. Give it a little razzle dazz, little little right here. Just a little blip 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 right there. That's I think I want to do that. But listen, let me, back to pure chemistry real quick, y'all. I just dropped off at UPS. Probably one of my favorite brand candles that I've done for a client. They look gorgeous and I cannot wait. I cannot wait till I'm able to share them. So in the meantime, I need you to get connected to Pure Chemistry at Pure Chemistry here on Instagram, on YouTube. I'm going to link this uh, live to the business page, but y'all got to get connected. If y'all want personal branded candles, if you want a candlelit experience, um, that's something, it's not old, but it's not new. It's more of a refreshed version of what we're doing for people. So if you want an individual candlelit experience, or if you are a business or a brand looking for personal branded candles, hit me up. Hit me up. Comment brand in the comments, and I'll be sure to get you the link so we can get you a candlelit experience consultation set up. What, Kim? It's candle companies out here that got consultations. I don't know about everybody else, but Pure Chemistry do. Hello. Hello. We not your average company, baby. Let's go. So make sure you comment brand in the comments. And also, if you catching me on the replay, hashtag replay me. I know y'all be watching. So just let me know so I can say hey to you. That's all. I don't bite. I don't bite you. I'm not going to bite you. Just let me know you here. Hey, Lanika. So listen, I had to pivot. I had to get on here early, right? And I planned on talking about sitting with your emotions and addressing them. And like I said, I had to be ready to pivot. My husband was, um, my husband told me that he was getting off work earlier. And so I was like, well, I want him to be able to have my attention when he gets home. So I said, well, let me get on live earlier and we just going to rock out. So when he come, come home, he has my attention. Um, and listen, yes, I'm one of those girlies. I'm one of those wives that I, I want my husband to have my attention when I, when he gets home and vice versa. And we absolutely love doing that for each other. I don't know what everybody else be doing out here, but that's what we do over here in the D-Dine household. Thank you very much. So we have been walking through a season where we are slowly seeing things that we've been wanting, things we've been speaking, things we've been believing in faith, we've been praying for, they are slowly but surely happening. And it's not just tangible things. It's things within us, people that the people that we used to be, we are no longer. We have become, we're continuously becoming, but we have become new people. And right here in this middle of where we are, God is allowing us to see certain things and i'm like oh my goodness this is so dope right this is amazing and i don't want to miss it right because the whole the whole 
purpose of it is to enjoy the journey, not skip over that part and try to get to the end result. So I'm trying to stay in the moment and really be present. And so that's why I said, let me get on live early so I can be present um, for my husband and with my husband when he get home. But I was thinking like, man, in regards to addressing my emotions um, yesterday, today, Tuesday, I do this every time I come on here. I'm like, man, was yesterday Monday? It's... I feel like I'll be living so far ahead that I got to come back down and, and, and be present where, where I am. So today is Tuesday. Yesterday. Yesterday was an interesting day. I got up and I was okay when I got up in the morning. And then all of a sudden, I just felt this sadness come over me and I started crying. And I was just trying to do regular life. I was trying to work on, in my business and on my business. And I was just trying to accomplish all these things but I'm just walking around here in tears and I couldn't figure out what was going on and so my first initial reaction and thought was to Kim sis you about sick of this let's move on we're not gonna keep doing this another day you got stuff to do you had an amazing weekend got to hang out with the family the cousins came together um Sunday you relaxed you legit rested not that fake rest I had an actual resting moment something that I really really need and I made myself sit and be still and not do anything I needed to do that I didn't I barely touched my phone I didn't get on my computer at all it was just a let's recoup my mind right so yesterday came, I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't figure it out by myself. I was praying. I'm like, God, what's going on? I just felt like, I don't know. So it happened to be the day that I had um, coaching, business coaching with my coach and my crew, my group. And then I also had a therapy session later in the day. And so I'm like, of all days, right? Of all days for this to happen, it's the, the right day to happen. And so... I went into the coaching session and coach was like, anybody else need anything? And I was like, I need something, but I don't know what it is. And I just start crying. And so they was like, you look sad. What's wrong? I said, I think I am sad. I think I am sad. And in that moment was the first time in a long time that I admitted to myself that I was actually sad. And it was the first time in a while of where I just sat in it. And not try to avoid it, not try to do anything to mask it, but just to sit in it and figure out what was going on. And so I was like, man, why have I been, I just been kind of just trying to shake it off, move and shake and shake it off. But he was like, nah, today I have to sit in this. Give yourself permission to cry and then give yourself permission to cry, release, shed, and then backtrack and see, okay, what was going on with you? And as the day went on, I'm so grateful for my coaching, my uh, my coach. I'm grateful for my group. I'm grateful for my therapist um, because I was able to pinpoint what was going on um, with my emotions. And, you know, a lot of people be like, your emotions don't matter. Like, don't even worry about it. Your emotions don't, your emotions don't matter. It actually does. It actually does because if you try to suppress your emotions, it will show up in another way tomorrow, a month later, three months later, three years down the line. You don't, you don't never know how, when, or where that these emotions will show up. And I've had an instance before. Yes. Take care of your soul. Just let your soul glow. Don't see, don't play with me now. Don't play with me. I sit here and sing this whole song and shut this whole life down, okay? But yes, take care of your soul. Really dig deep and make sure you take the time to process your emotions. And why did I feel sad? What happened to make me um, experience this sadness? What <laughs> You knew I was going to sing. You knew I was going to sing. You know I'm going to take it there. We, <laughs> we go there in a minute. Um, but take the time to process and see what was going on and, and how am I doing and really check in and start to see, okay, hold on. Did the enemy try to slip something in on me and I started believing it or I started panicking 
in which this, in my case, this actually happened. I'll get to that in a second. Did the enemy try to slip something in on me? And I started in, in my moment of like, just trying to be like, nah, we, we tired of this. We tired of it. Me in the moment of me trying to not deal with it. I started to lean in a little bit and listen to the lie that I was being told. And the lie that I was being told was I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time to do the things that I want to do. I'm running out of time um, to get things in order that I purpose to do. I'm running out of time to show up for whoever I'm supposed to show up for. And so I didn't realize it. But after, like I said, after I went, uh, had my coaching uh, group meeting and then I went to therapy, I got down to the root of the issue, the root of my emotions and the fact that I slightly started to believe that I didn't have time. And so I slightly started to panic. And so internally, I was just starting to cry because for whatever reason, for that slight second, I believed that I didn't have time, which is a complete lie, right? It's a complete lie. God, God got time. Look, two weeks is a whole bunch of time for God to come through for your girl and show up and show out. It's two weeks. It's still a bunch of time for me to do the things that I'm supposed to do. Tie up loose ends, show up, show out, do me, do my assignment, be present in the moment. I still got time. And so after I went to therapy and I got all that out, right? I shed all those emotions. I cried it out. I purged. I was actually able to receive the things that my coach was telling me, the other people were telling me, and that my therapist was telling me so much so that it was beneficial for me that they just so happened to line up that way of those two things. And so because I sat there and processed my emotions, I was able to then make room for what was already coming to me. But I was able to receive it and process it and understand and know you still have time. You still blessed. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I ain't have to worry about it. I was, why are we crying? So I just wanted to come on and say that it's very necessary. It's very necessary to sit and process your emotions and see what's going on, see where it's coming from, see why. Do a self check in. Check in with yourself. If you don't have nobody that's coming to call you, text you, email you, whatever, what have you, and say, hey, girl, how you doing? Check in with yourself. Kim, how we doing today? Why are you feeling like this? Why do you feel sad? Why are you crying? Deal with the emotions. Don't just numb them away and numb them down. Don't numb them away. Because like I said, they will show up later on and they might come out as you don't know what. It might be something raging. You you never know. Undealt with emotions. I wanted to say something, but I ain't going to say it. Uh-uh. It ain't the move. It ain't the move. It ain't the move. Yes, it ain't the move. And also, because I processed my emotions and I dealt with it, I was able to receive the changes the very next morning of what God is doing in my life. I'm able to see the tangible blessings of things that I was praying for, I have been praying for, me and my husband have been praying for. I was able to see it, witness it, and know I know that's God and I know he be listening to me. I don't be crying all the time. <laughs> I'll just be out here crying all the time to him. I actually, he actually showed up for you, girl. And all I had to do was be present to receive it. I, I, I didn't have to check off a list. I ain't have to put on a show. I ain't have to put on a dress and sing. I don't know why I keep using that analogy, but I am. I ain't had to put on no dress and sing a song, put on a show for nobody. I just had to be present in the moment and be me. And I'm grateful. I'm so grateful that I dealt with my emotions because now I was able to receive 
what God had for me. So all I'm saying, I don't mind being transparent. I tell y'all my business. If I don't, if you don't get nothing else from me, please, please, please deal with your emotions, process them, know what your triggers are, and know what's going on with your body, within your body, within yourself, within your mind. Make room for what you need to make room for. Don't suppress it. Deal with it so you can make room to receive. That's all I got, legit. Like I said, I had to be ready to pivot. I wasn't necessarily going there, but I went there and I feel good about it. I feel at peace. God, I thank you. <laughs> God, I thank you. So listen, again, my name is Kimberly Dedine, Rhymes with Divine. Y'all, I think I'm still running. I'm running the limited edition holiday-ish candle. I think, I think I might cut it off tomorrow depending we'll see how it goes i might cut it off tomorrow depending i might let it run but um if you haven't make sure you get you one um drop a uh, holiday it nah drop candle drop candle in the comments if you want to get you a holiday ish can't lord i forgot it again y'all <laughs> bruh how do i keep doing this I legit had it. Y'all y'all don't y'all don't need to know. Y'all don't need to know. All right, y'all. I'm about to be out of here again. If you want to book a candlelit consultation with me, drop um drop brand in the comments. I will get you the link. Oh, look at you. Okay, Eb, I see you. What's up, Brand? What's up, Brandon? I ain't I ain't talked to you in a minute. What's up? Um Hit the candlelit consultation link in the comments um, for the replay. It probably won't be in there, so I'll make sure I will repost it. It's also, I know you're not supposed to say link in the bio, but it is on there. Okay, but drop the word brand in the comments and I will make sure you get the link directly so you can get your personal branded candles. If you have any events, if you have any retreats come in, um, I just did a wedding I just did a wedding order as well. If you're looking something, um, looking for something that's a unique experience, an aromatic experience to elevate your event, elevate your brand and your business to the next level, come talk to me. Come talk to me. I'm, I can't wait. I can't wait to talk to you. All right, y'all. Until next time, I love y'all. Y'all have a good night. Bye.